Yeah, what's up Rebels? Doug here on a not so nice day in gloomy Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, this is uh, not, not normal for us. Uh, skies are gray. It's not warm out. It's really not that cold, to be honest. It's like, uh, it's like 15 degrees in New York. So uh, it's like 10 degrees in Michigan, Wisconsin. So I'm not gonna complain about the fact that it's like 45, 50-ish here. Uh, still don't need a jacket, need a hat, especially if you're bald and you have no hair, all right? Uh, but uh, no sunshine today. Um, people in North Carolina, South Carolina get really, really spoiled with sunshine. Um, we, uh, if we don't see the sun for more than like two days, uh, it like greatly affects us. We get really, really pissy. Uh, and speaking of being pissy, I'm certainly pissy today. Uh, I'll actually, well, I don't know if I want to start with that or if I want to end with it. I guess I'll start with it and then uh, I'll end with a, a message about my story, but I'll start with my story about why I'm pissy. Your boy just got accused of stealing at the fucking grocery store over a bottle of orange juice. Yeah, no bullshit. Now, look, I will be the first person to admit uh, I may or may not have accidentally walked out of Walmart and Target probably more than a couple of times with a bag of dog food or many, 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 many years ago when I used to drink uh, a case of beer underneath my cart. Now look, it happens, all right? Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, once I'm at the truck, and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> this bag of dog food is under here. Uh, you know, I could roll my ass all the way back into the store and pay for it, um, or I could just say, well, I forgot. And I guess, you know, the right thing to do the honest thing to do would be to go back into the store and pay for it. So I guess I admit to that. Um, and I don't know if today I, uh, I don't know. Look, I've been, I've been judged harshly uh, many times in my life by uh, security, law enforcement, uh, and other um, people in leadership roles. Uh, and I usually don't take very kindly to that. Um, if you are friends with me and you're part of my circle, um, I try to be as nice as possible. Uh, and I've worked for many years to be a nicer person, uh, to be more honest, but to, honestly, just to be kinder. Uh, is very easy for me to be very uh, judgmental and not very nice. Um, so I've worked for a long time to just just be a nicer person. And uh, it's definitely, I've come a long way and uh, you know, I've still got work to do, but I've come a long way. But I have gone through a lot of shit in my life where uh, people were not nice to me um, for no reason other than the fact that, you know, I'm tall, I'm loud, uh, you know, I have a very, uh, I don't have enough, I wouldn't say I have an offensive personality, but, um, you know, I tell the truth whether you want to fucking hear the truth or not. Some people don't like that. Uh, and when you're tall, um, you get picked out of a crowd really easily. You can't, like, I can't hide. Um, and listen, growing up, I got in a lot of trouble. 
Uh, I was not always a good person or a good citizen uh, or a good son. Um, so I've done, I've done some bad shit in my day. Uh, so I won't say that uh, me being judged harshly is always uh, incorrect, um, but it still is wrong. Uh, it's not something that people should do. And I've learned that on my own uh, to not judge people uh, by their appearance. Um, spell when you own a business and you you train people for a living, uh, you you learn that. Um, and a couple of times I've learned that the hard way. Anyways, what I'm getting to, my story, and being accused of stealing a bottle of orange juice. So I just got home from the grocery store. Normally, Lindsay and I go grocery shopping together. And I will tell you this, uh, husbands, uh, gentlemen, if you're watching this, um, please help your wives and your girlfriends uh, or your boyfriends or your husbands. Um, but boys, please go help your partner uh, grocery shopping. Um, Lindsay and I always go grocery shopping together. Um, part of the reason for that is because it's a pain in the ass to give somebody a list and uh, expect them to you know, check everything off. Um, so basically, I'm not saying that Lindsay and I don't trust each other, uh, but you know, carrying someone else's grocery list when you are an athlete uh, and you're shopping for another athlete is very, um, that's a heavy, believe it or not, that's a very heavy task uh, to make sure that you get somebody's food and make sure that you get all of their food. Um, so Lindsay and I, we always go grocery shopping together and I will tell you this, and this is why I'm telling you to help out your partner grocery shopping. Uh, checking out is a pain in the ass and uh, I'm, very, I'm a very OCD person. Uh, Lindsay and I like to bag our groceries a certain way and uh, I can't stand having, um, First, Lindsay and I don't like people to help us. Uh, we like to do things ourselves. So self-checkout is always the way that we go. And Lindsay and I have a system uh, of how we bag our groceries. And we have a system of how we scan things. And we have a system for everything. Um, so today, Lindsay's mother is staying with us for the weekend until Christmas Eve. And... Uh, Lindsay and Jamie, her sister, uh, and those of you who don't know this, Jamie lives with us. Um, they went up to Greenville or Greensboro uh, for like a Christmas village type of thing, um, which is nice. Uh, basically, my body is like shot from last week, and I really just needed a day, uh, so I was not... I was not upset to spend a day to myself. Not that I don't want to spend time with my mother-in-law. Uh, she's wonderful uh, and I love her. Uh, but, you know, the two girls can go spend time with their mom and that's fine. Uh, so I had to go grocery shopping by myself, uh, which is a royal pain in my ass. Um, again, not something that I like detest doing, but, you know, it's just easier with two people. That's all there is to it. Uh, so. Anyways, I get to self-checkout and we bring our own bags. We have canvas bags because we hate using plastic. Uh, you know, trying to help out the environment here. And I set my bags up and the very first two things that I ring out are two bottles of orange juice. Now, here's where things get tricky. Lindsay drinks one type of orange juice and I drink a different kind. Lindsay drinks regular orange juice and I drink a tropical blend of orange juice that has like pineapple and mango and other shit in it. Um, because I'm a spoiled brat and I like really sweet things. So I love pineapple and Lindsay does not. Anyways, one of them rings up on the screen as orange juice. The other one while it looks like orange juice and is in 
the same container as the other orange juice, it actually rings up as tropical juice blend. Now, some fucking 18 year old, very overweight individual, I shouldn't bring personal things and judgmental things into this, I'm sorry, but you know, when you're an athlete and a coach and you run a gym and you train people for a living, and you have to deal with somebody who uh, blatantly does not take care of themselves, you know, it becomes a factor in, I don't know, I'm being judgmental, I'm turning into my father, and my father was a very judgmental person. Anyways, this portly young man overzealously walks up behind me and says, you did not scan your second orange juice. So I looked at the screen and I said, yes, I did. So I tried to show him on the screen and he said that it wasn't on there. Now, it's not on there because it's not orange juice. It's a tropical blend. <laughs> what happened, thankfully, before I completely lost my shit, I told the kid that at the end of me ringing out all my groceries, we could go back over the list, but I know for a fact that I scanned it. He said, okay, and he stepped back. Straight eyeballing me the entire time. Now, before I was finished ringing out all my groceries, uh, he actually had to switch places with somebody, I think at the service desk. Now, Luckily, uh, I'm actually gonna turn around here. April, come on. Now, luckily, uh, he left and a nice young kid took over and I finished ringing up my shit and I knew it was on there. So I called the new young man over and I pointed at the screen because before they switched places, big boy, mentioned to young kid whispering behind me to watch my order and make sure that I rang up both my orange juices. So I called the young kid over and I pointed to the screen and I told him, one's tropical juice, one's orange juice. So make sure that big boy doesn't have a heart attack and he knows that I checked this shit out. And the kid laughed and I smiled. I paid for my shit, got my receipt. I walked out of the grocery store. And I didn't say anything to management, uh, you know, and I didn't call the kid over because I probably would have lost my shit and made a big scene about it. And then they would have called the cops and yeah, it would have been a big bunch of bullshit. And it really is not worth all of that. So, that's my story of me being accused of stealing a bottle of orange juice today. That's my, that's, that's how my gloomy, shitty Sunday is going. Doug gets accused of stealing orange juice. Uh, so, that's my, that's my Sunday story. Uh, the worst part is, uh, I was so pissed off. Uh, we have like, uh, like I said, we use our own bags. Um, I have, uh, we have like six or seven bags. We usually only use four. Um, and we have almost forgotten our extra bags many times. Uh, and I was so pissed off, I left all of our extra bags. Um, so I had to message the wife and ask her to stop by Food Lion on our way home, on her way home uh, from her uh, Christmas market day out with her mom and her sister to go grab those bags because if I go back to the store to go grab those bags and I see That fucking kid. I'm definitely gonna say something and it's not gonna be nice So that's my Sunday story Trying to you know Live and learn forgive and forget get over shit. Oh God people anyways uh, So that's my Sunday story of being accused of stealing orange juice. 
Um, back to our regularly scheduled program of lifting shit. Uh, I will, of course, try to splice in a couple of videos from uh, lifting this week. Uh, I was super happy. I actually hit a PR today. Today? This week. I didn't hit it today. I went grocery shopping today. Uh, I hit a PR on Friday. Super stoked. Um, I hit a 190 pound. Uh, ooh, fuck. I think that's 80. Let me see. 85 pounds. April. April. Come here. Uh, 85 kilo. 85 kilos, 185 pounds. Um, so I hit uh, 190, which is 89 kilo. Uh, so I hit an 89 kilo uh, clean and jerk. Sorry with my runny nose and I'm losing light here. Uh, so I hit a 89 kilo, 190 pound clean and jerk. I thought forever and a day, I have a separate clean PR and a separate jerk PR. Uh, and they are both uh, 190 and 195 for the jerk, 190 for the clean. Uh, for some strange reason, I thought that my clean and jerk was actually the, one of those two numbers. Uh, so I hit a 190. My PR for clean and jerk is actually 185. So I hit a 190 clean and jerk. So I was super stoked. Uh, I'll splice that in here. Uh, Lindsay's lifting for the week. Uh, Lindsay had a little bit of a, a debacle on, I think, Monday. Uh, she's back to training and uh, she had a little, little SI hip joint crack in the middle of a squat set um, that kind of jacked her up for the week. Uh, she's okay. Uh, she's, she's back to squatting, feeling fine uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, but uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a scary moment for her. She's she didn't feel good for a couple of days. Uh, but that's uh, that's about it as far as lifting. Um, we had our uh, we had our gym uh, Christmas party at uh, karaoke, uh, and I will I'll splice in I'll splice in a second a karaoke uh, uh, from uh, let me see Brianna uh, got some singing done, and so did uh, our man Ben. Uh, so a little bit of karaoke there and what else that was about it for this week uh, overall solid week of lifting I just listen I, I seriously put everything I had into a lot of lifts this week and I'm glad that I PR'd but holy shit it uh, it took a toll on me my, my hips are feeling it my back is feeling it uh, I feel like somebody who's been lifting uh, 48 weeks a year for 12 years straight. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Um, anyways, I'm losing daylight here. You guys can barely see me. This uh, video quality looks like dog shit. Uh, so, uh, I don't think I have anything else going on. My big story is uh, being accused of stealing orange juice. Um, and I guess as somebody who's not done the right thing uh, and not always been nice, and a good person his entire life. I guess, uh, you know, what goes around comes around. I don't know. Um, I'm not saying I deserved it, but uh, maybe that fucking kid should learn how to read before he uh, accuses people of stealing shit. Uh, meanwhile, I had a $50 uh, standing rib roast for Christmas dinner uh, in the cart. What do you think I'm gonna steal? A $50 piece of meat? or a fucking $3 bottle of orange juice. <laughs> what an idiot. Anyways, uh, I guess my story for this week, Sunday Walk and Talk, is um, to not be judgmental and to not, uh, to not judge people by their appearance. Um, you know, just because, you know, somebody is uh, covered in tattoos and, you know, might look like not too nice of a person um, doesn't mean that they are not a nice person or not a good person. All right, uh, don't don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, I've kind of learned that the hard way uh, over the years, and uh, that's it's come back to bite me in the ass a couple of times. Um, 
but I've been on the tail. I've been on the other end of that. April, hey, come here, come here. I've, uh, hold on, I got a couple of cars driving by here. I've been on the, the brunt end of, you know, being judged for my looks many, many times in my life. Um, and it sucks. It feels like shit. Uh, so please don't do that to people. That is my, uh, that's my message for you guys for this week's Sunday walk and talk. I'll try and edit in some uh, lifting from this week. And also I'm going to be putting up a uh, full training set, like my entire training uh, set and workouts. Don't listen. If you don't want to watch those things, that's fine. But I do have people. Those are some of my like highest rated videos is me literally me just working out. And I think that that's odd. Um, but I do watch people's workout videos. So I guess it shouldn't be too odd that people watch my workout videos. I don't know. I'm not special. Um, so it kind of blows my mind that people would watch my workout videos, but I'm going to upload a few videos for, uh, my workouts. What's that guys? It's starting to fucking rain and this video looks like dog shit because there's no lighting. So I am out of here. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Peace.